In this section, our goal is to be able to factor polynomials using the greatest common factor and the grouping method. Recall multiplying polynomials. When we multiply polynomials that look like this, we distribute. So we take 4x, we multiply it to 3x. 4 times 3 makes 12. x times x makes x squared. 4x times positive 5 makes positive 20x. Well, today we're going to go backwards. Instead of multiplying, we're going to divide or factor. Before we multiplied, we had factors. Factors are things that are multiplied to create a product. For example, the 4x is a factor. The binomial 3x plus 5 is a factor. We multiplied the 4x to the binomial 3x plus 5. We multiplied the factors. Numbers have factors, like negative 6. The factors can be negative 2 times 3. These are the factors of negative 6. 0 can be written as a product of factors, such as 4 times 0. 12x squared can be written as a product of factors. I can write 12 as 2 times 2 times 3 and x squared as x times x. Factors are anything that I multiply to make a product. Today we're going to focus on greatest common factors or the GCF. That's the largest monomial that can be divided out of each term in the polynomial. Now, if I can't factor an expression, we call it prime. Or rather, if we can only factor it into the numbers 1 and itself. For example, Five is a prime number because it can only be factored into one times five. Unlike six, that can be factored into two times three. So six is not prime. Negative x is prime because I can write it as one times negative x. Let's start with factoring the GCF, the greatest common factor. First, we'll find the GCF of the polynomial. Then we'll undistribute or divide out the GCF from all the terms. Examples, factor each polynomial by finding the GCF, the greatest common factor. So we look at the first term. This term can be written as its factors 5 times x times x. 5x squared is 5 times x times x. x squared means x times x. This term can be written as positive 3 times 5 times x. Now I look for what's in common in both of these terms. I see a 5 in both of them, and I see an x in both of them. So I'm going to undistribute the common factor, the GCF. 5 I can undistribute, so 5 comes out. x I can undistribute, so x comes out. What is left over in the group is x and positive 3. So these are the factors, 5x times the binomial x plus 3. If I want to, I can check to make sure that I did it correctly by distributing again. So 5x times x plus 3, 5x times x makes 5x squared, 5x times 3 makes 15x. This is what I started with here, so I know I'm correct. 
this is a correct factorization of this binomial. Let's look at number two. 5x squared, the first term, can be written as 5 times x times x. Positive 4 can be written as positive 2 times 2. But I don't see anything in common between the first term and the second term, so this one cannot be factored. This one is prime. Number 3, negative 2x cubed. This can be written as negative 2 times x times x times x, 3x is for x cubed, minus 6x squared. So I want a common factor from all of these. I see a 2 here. I know a 2 can go into 6. This can be written as negative 2 times 3. x squared is x times x positive 8x. Now when I see a negative 2 as a leading coefficient or any negative number as a leading coefficient, I want to take out the negative as well. So I'm going to factor negative 8 as negative 2 times negative 4 times x for this x. So that when I take out negative 2, I'll be able to do it from all of the terms. So let's keep these separate. This before the sign was the first term. This was the second term. This was the third term. So I can factor out negative 2. Let's undistribute that one. Negative 2 can divide out or factor out negative 2. What else can factor out? I see a common x in all three terms, so x can also be factored out. Let's undistribute. Take out the x from all three terms. Let's see what's left over. In the first term, I've got x times x. That makes x squared. The second term, I have a 3 and an x. That makes positive 3x. And in the last term, I have a negative 4. Again, we can check by distributing to see that we have the trinomial that we started with. But this is the factored form by factoring out the greatest common factor. Let's try some more examples. Looking at this first term, I can write 12 as 6 times 2. Now why am I not going to factor 6 some more? Because I see 6 in the other term. So I want to notice that 6 will be in common in both terms. x cubed is x times x times x and y. Positive 6, I can factor that, but remember I'm trying to look for something in common and I see that I will have 6 in common. x squared, x times x, and then y. So what else is in common? I see two x's and I see a factor of y. So all the things we can take out. We have a 6, we have x times x, that's x squared, and we have y. What's left over? 2 times x is 2x plus, well, nothing's left here. But remember when we're multiplying, we ha always have one times something left over. And there's our factored form with the GCF. Let's look at number five. What are the factors of the first term? Y and what's multiplied to Y, X minus one. In the second term, I've got 
negative 6, and what's multiplied, the x minus 1. What's in common this time is a binomial. A binomial is in common in both of these terms. So that is what we take out. x minus 1 is factored out because it's in common. What's left over, the y is left from the first term, and the negative 6 is left from the second term. So there's our factored form using the GCF. Maybe you pause the video and try number six on your own and come back and check how you did. Let's try to find what's in common in all three terms. First, I notice that all of these are divisible by the number eight. I see eight, and that's the greatest number that I can take out of all of these. So 24, I'm going to write as eight times three d squared is d times d plus 16 can be written as 8 times 2 times d negative 32 can be written as negative 8 times 4 d cubed is d times d times d and 8j is 8 times j What's in common? Well, the eight that I spotted at first, so I can factor out eight. What else is in common? Well, three, I don't see three. D, here's a D, here's a D, but there's no D here. This has J, but there's no J anywhere else. So let's write down what's left over, three, times d times d is d squared plus 2d minus 4d cubed plus j. All I could take out was 8. 8 is the only GCF. Let's talk about factoring by grouping or double factoring. If a polynomial contains four or more terms, it may be helpful to put the terms into groups of two and factor out a common factor from each of these groups. So we're looking for two groups, the first two terms, in one group and the second two terms in another group. So from this first group, I'm going to look for a greatest common factor. I can write out the factors like we did before. 2x squared can be 2 times x times x and 3x can be positive 3 times x. Then I can factor the greatest common factor. What do I see? Just a common x. So I factor out the x and what's left over is 2x plus 3. Let's look at the other group of two terms, positive 2x plus 3. How can I break that down? Positive 2 times x and positive 3. 2 is not in common, x is not in common, and 3 is in common, not in common. But what can I always divide out of any number? If nothing's in common, I can always find 1. So remember, when I don't see anything in common, that I can say this is times 1 and this is times 1, because multiplying by 1 doesn't change it, so I'm going to factor out a common 1, or better, positive 1. What's left over? 2x plus 3. Notice that I have the same binomial in both of these groups. So now I factor again the common factor. So this is why it's called double factoring. First I factored out the GCF from each group 
and now I factor out the common binomial. So I take the 2x plus 3, that's in common, and I undistribute or factor that out, 2x plus 3. What's left over? x plus 1. x plus 1. And this is the factored form of that original polynomial. Let's try number 8. Let's look at this first group and write it with its factors broken down. 3 times x times x times x. 3x squared is 3 times x times x. What's in common? 3. So I can write a 3. What else is in common? 1 factor of x. Oh, 2 factors of x. x times x makes x squared. What's left over? x plus, well, I don't see anything here, but remember it's always an invisible 1 that can be multiplied. I always have 1x, so plus 1. Let's take a look at the other group. Negative 4x minus 4. Negative 4x. Negative 4 times x. Negative 4 is negative 4. I could write that as 2 times 2, but remember I'm looking for something in common. And there's a 4 here, so I have a 4 here. So let's see negative 4 and negative 4. Negative 4 can factor out what's left over, x. Nothing is left from this one, so think of that as times 1, and we have the invisible 1 left, so x and positive 1. Notice again that we have the same binomial. Now we can factor out that common bino binomial. x plus 1 is in common, so it comes out. And what's left over? 3x squared minus 4. And there is our factored expression, our factored polynomial. Let's try one more. Maybe you pause the video and try this one on your own. Here's our first group. x squared is x times x and then times y plus 6x. I'm not going to break down 6 because there are no numbers here. So 6 times x. Let's look for what's in common. x in both of these is the only thing in common. So I factor out x and I'm left with xy plus 6. Let's look at the second group. Positive 3 times x times y times y for y squared. 18, I can get a 3 from 18 by doing 3 times 6, and then I have a y as well. What's in common? The positive 3. What else is in common? One of the factors of y. Let's write what's left over. Oops, I forgot to put the positive out here with the 3. What's left over? x, y, and positive 6. Notice the binomial x, y plus 6 is in common in both groups, like it should be when we do factoring by grouping. So let's take out that common binomial undistribute x, y plus 6, and write what's left over, x and positive 3y. Take a couple minutes to write a short summary and describe how factoring out the GCF is similar to the grouping method. See you in class.